We often talk about the benefits of alternative fuels, especially in fleet applications. And our most recent trip took us back to school at the University of Texas, where we got a higher education in the practical use of clean energy. Some 52,000 students attend the University of Texas at Austin. This urban campus includes an iconic stadium, a landmark clock tower, dorms, dining halls, and classrooms, and wherever you look, people on the move. As you can imagine, it takes a monumental effort to keep this city within a city running smoothly. And one of the hardest workers on the UT support team is a fleet of small but mighty vehicles that prowl the campus seemingly everywhere at once, assisting in everything from lawn care to lighting and power supply to parking. I'm Mike Lee Murata. I'm a parking enforcement officer for the University of Texas, and I write tickets all day long. Well, the, the vehicle's a three-wheeled electric cart, and I like it for its maneuverability uh, more than anything else. It will do a turn in one of these narrow streets without having to do a three-point turn the way uh, even a four-wheel cart or, of course, our uh, small trucks will have to do. Low-speed electric vehicles, or LSVs, make up more than half of the university's support fleet. Some are specialized, like this three-wheeler, where maneuverability is key, while others are versatile enough to haul people, equipment, and cargo anywhere on campus and to places a regular car or truck can't reach. EVs are used by almost every department on campus. Um, the landscapers use them because they can get right to the the place where they're working, whether it be the rock gardens or right to the flower beds, etc. The uh, custodial staff likes it because they can bring their equipment, their clean equipment, straight to the front door. Don't have to park and load it in. So there's a real advantage in getting closer to buildings or closer to work sites. First of all, they're easy to park. We have a parking problem on campus. They're student friendly because you can ride them on sidewalks and around. They're more maneuverable. You know, Austin itself is a very uh, nature friendly, environmentally friendly city. We have a group on campus called the Office of Sustainability, which sort of monitors campus sustainability items. Um, and we have a STARS report, which evaluates campuses for their sustainability efforts. And having LSVs, of course, was right up their alley. With help from the Lone Star Clean Fuels Alliance, the University of Texas has also installed propane fueling on site used by some lawn equipment, and a number of the university's ICE vehicles run on E85. 17 EV cars and trucks round out their clean fleet. But UT has been all in on low-speed electric vehicles for years. From an initial order of 200, that number has now grown to nearly 350. These small EVs fit the bill for UT for a number of reasons. One of the advantages of EVs here on this campus is that we produce our own energy. We've done it for a lot of years very efficiently and very cheaply. And so producing our own electricity keeps us off the Austin grid. And it's been really good for the EVs because we always have power. It's a little bit of a learning curve with an EV, but you know, with schematics and with the operator's manuals, they're able to figure it out pretty easy. We also get a little help from the manufacturers. So when we buy from a specific manufacturer, They'll give us the tools to work on the EVs. They'll often send mechanics down to give us a, you know, a training in basic PM services and, and at least the basics of keeping them up. And the maintenance costs were somewhere in the 30 to 40 cents a mile cheaper than a combustion engine. Basically, we're doing tires, we're doing lube the chassis, we're doing uh, occasional batteries every three to five years batteries. And that's really all you do to an electric vehicle for the first 10 to 12 years. In the winter time, when you're running the heater and the, the blower at the same time, you'll run the battery down in a couple of days. But with the weather being nicer the way it is in Texas, 300 days a year, uh, the battery was charged four days ago and it's still good. One common trait of successful fleet operations is right-sizing your vehicles to meet your needs. They say everything is bigger in Texas. But in this case, smaller is definitely better and smarter.